Nonprofits can be a great way to help groups of people or other organizations who otherwise might be struggling. The term nonprofit is thrown around a lot, but what exactly is a nonprofit and how do they work? In this video, we'll go over what a nonprofit corporation is and explain how they differ from other business structures. So what is a nonprofit corporation? A nonprofit corporation, as the name suggests, is a legal entity that exists for some defined purpose, which doesn't seek to make a profit. By contrast, LLCs and corporations are legal entities that exist to make a profit. A nonprofit corporation is purpose driven. Think charities, churches, and social advocacy groups. A company whose goal is not to make a profit for themselves. Typically, they're an organization that wants to make money in order to help further a social cause or provide a public benefit. What this means is that after operating costs, things like office expenses, paying employees, and any other materials they may need to run a company, any excess money goes to whatever cause they're trying to help. Like a regular corporation, a nonprofit corporation has a set of bylaws and some numbers of directors and officers. The bylaws are the rules that determine how the nonprofit will be governed and run. You can think about it as a constitution for the nonprofit. It makes the rules and priorities clear for everyone involved. The directors of a nonprofit are responsible for overseeing the operations of the organization. Together, they form the board of directors. The power and influence of the directors over the organization comes from them as a board. The directors themselves do not have any authority as individuals. The board typically creates the policies that govern the nonprofit. They also oversee management level hiring, such as the company officers. The officers of a nonprofit, such as the president or secretary, are individuals with responsibilities and the authority to execute based on their job description. Together, the officers and the board will come together to make up the organizational structure of a nonprofit. An officer may also be on the board of directors and serve both roles if allowed to do so by the organizational bylaws. What makes nonprofits different from other business structures is their ability to apply for tax exempt status. Nonprofits can apply for 501c3 tax exempt status. What this means is that if their status is accepted, they do not need to pay any taxes on any money they make as a nonprofit. This allows the maximum amount of money to go directly from the nonprofit to the social benefit or cause they are supporting. A common misconception of nonprofits is that they are run only by volunteers. Most nonprofits have staff that work for the company, with the possibility of using volunteers to perform some of the nonprofit services under the direction of paid staff. However, nonprofits need to be careful about balancing employees' salaries and how much they provide to the people or groups they are trying to help. Nonprofits who have employees with high salaries may face regulatory scrutiny. A second misconception is that nonprofit organizations may not make a profit. Although the goal of nonprofits isn't specifically to maximize profits, they still have to operate as a fiscally responsible business. They must manage their income from any grants, donations, income from services, and expenses so as to remain a fiscally viable entity. Nonprofits have the responsibility of focusing on being professional and financially responsible while replacing self-interest and a focus on profit with their focus on their mission. With all of this in mind, do you need to form a nonprofit in order to raise money for a social benefit or cause? Just because you want to raise money for a person or organization doesn't mean you need to form a nonprofit corporation. You can run one-time charity events to raise money without needing to be a nonprofit corporation. Running something like a charity auction or raising money to donate to an organization are informal examples. If you have long-term goals for your nonprofit, then forming a nonprofit corporation may be more suitable, as it will provide certain benefits such as limited liability protection, an enhanced ability to raise funds and apply for grants, and discounted rates on stamps as well as certain marketing and advertising costs. And as mentioned before, you will also receive tax exemptions once you obtain 501c3 status. An additional benefit of operating as a nonprofit comes in the form of tax deductibles that your donors can claim. 
If you were to raise money using a one-time charity event, any donations you'll receive below a certain threshold wouldn't have to have taxes paid on them. However, if you receive donations as a nonprofit corporation, your donors can write off their donation from their taxes, which may further incentivize people or organizations to donate. If you're looking to create your own nonprofit organization, check out our other video linked below, How to Start a Nonprofit Corporation. A nonprofit corporation is a business structure just like an LLC or a regular corporation. However, unlike an LLC or regular corporation, a nonprofit corporation's goal is to raise money for a social benefit or cause instead of making money to make a profit. Nonprofits have similar structure to a corporation with the added benefit of tax exempt status, allowing them to maximize the amount of money that goes towards the benefit or cause they are supporting. Now you know what a nonprofit corporation is. For more information and a detailed guide on how to form a nonprofit corporation, visit our site at startupsavant.com. Give the video a like if you found it useful and subscribe if you'd like to see more. If you have questions, leave a comment below. And if you're looking to start a nonprofit of your own, we wish you the best of luck.